When getting your house ready to sell, don't think you need to do a full renovation. There are a lot of little things that can go a long way in making your home stand out from the rest. I'm going to go over those tips in today's video. Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Rooney here. And on this channel, we talk everything real estate from buying, selling, investing, to becoming an agent, becoming a broker, even building your own team. You name it, we talk it. Consider subscribing and at any point during the video, check out the link or description below for more information. Now for some of you out there, a few of these tips may seem like common sense, but you'd be surprised how often they're missed. These are also great ways to make your home really stand above that house for sale down the street. First things first, start by painting. If your house hasn't seen a paint job in a while, it's time to update. Stick with neutral colors, and if you want a little kick, throw in an accent wall of a darker shade. Try to stay away from vibrant colors. You may love them, but we're here to appeal to as many people as possible. If you're gonna do the painting yourself, please, please, please tape the ceiling first. We wanna see two distinct colors between your ceiling and your wall. If you've recently painted your home, say in the last few years, make sure you go around and do the touch-ups. Walls always seem to find a way to get banged up, so fill in any chips or holes and then paint over them. Finish by washing off any marks or scuffs. And don't forget the baseboards and trim. The second step here is to go out and buy some light bulbs. Go around the inside and outside of your home and change out any dead bulbs. Then keep a few extra on hand for any bulbs that may go out while your home is on the market. Step three may be a bit difficult for some of you, but hide your pets. I mean, get rid of any sign of them. Clean everything they've touched, not just of their fur, but of any scent they may have left behind. Hide their beds and any food or water bowls. And if possible, once your home is on the market, see about having your little fur buddy stay with friends or family or check them into a spa for a little while. If those aren't options for you, at least remove them from the home while it's being shown. Removing cats isn't as big a deal as dogs, but a cat's litter box and hair everywhere can be just as deterring to potential buyers as a dog's. You may think, who would care if I have a pet? And I would agree with you, and so would most pet owners. However, the people going through your home may not love animals, and traces them left behind can put them off. Next, we're going to talk a bit about staging, and there are a few things you can do without a stager. First, declutter like crazy, and make sure you do so before you have the photographer go through. And just while we're on the topic of photographers, have your photos taken professionally, or make sure your realtor uses a professional. No iPhone pictures here, please. Also, if you're curious about what your real estate agent can offer you and how much commission you should pay, check out my video, How Much Are Real Estate Commissions? Now, when I was saying declutter, I don't just mean get rid of all of the junk we accumulate over time. I mean way more than that. Take everything off your countertops, except for maybe a knife set. Hide the toaster, hide the kettle, hide anything on your bathroom counters. I know people don't live like this, but we're not trying to show the home you live in. We're trying to sell your house for top dollar. Clean your dishes as you go or start using plastic plates and cutlery and throw them out as you go. I'm a bit of an environmentalist, so I'm not promoting the latter, but whatever you have to do to keep this place spotless, do it. Which brings us to our next point. Clean your house from top to bottom. Baseboards to ceilings, no cobwebs, no kids toys out, no marks on the floor, no rings in your toilet bowls, make sure the beds are made every day. Until your house sells, it should look like you don't live there. Do all of this as you go every day. Sometimes buyer's agents ask to show the house 45 minutes beforehand. It can be very inconvenient, but you're trying to sell a very expensive asset, so you should try your best to accommodate them. And if you're at work, when they ask to come through, you may not have time to get home and tidy up. Moral of the story here is always have your house ready to show. Try a few small things to spruce up the place, like placing a large bowl full of fresh fruit on the kitchen table, or go out and spend a few bucks, buy some nice new hardware for the kitchen cabinets and drawers. This can be a great way to make older cabinets look super trendy. Move your furniture so that it's easy to walk through every room and open up all of the blinds. We want your home to look bright, open, and inviting. With furniture, less is often more. Also, try arranging furniture to highlight room features. For instance, if you have a nice fireplace, arrange the furniture around it instead of in front of the TV. Finally, if you'd like, see if your realtor will pay for a staging consultation 
or front the 150 ish yourself. They don't need to furnish your house, they often just have great ideas on how to work with your existing furniture, or they may tell you to move a piece of art or two in a way that will really liven up a room. That's all I have for you today, and as always, thanks for tuning in. Definitely subscribe for more videos covering all things real estate, and if you know anyone that this video would be valuable to, please share it with them. Hit me up below or shoot me an email with any questions or comments, and until next time, this is Matt Rooney talking everything real estate. Because I might have had some toast today. <laughs> oh no, could be the beard.